Okay, let's give you guys some practice. So uh, somehow, somehow integrate this. So press pause and have a go. Okay, so to do this, before jumping into the reduction formula, uh, before jumping into the reduction formula, try to um, try to get something to be the exact derivative of another thing. So if you look at this, um, if you if if you um, if you look at this, secant squared is the exact derivative of ten. So if you can write everything in terms of ten, then then you know you can uh, you can use uh, substitution. It would be easy to integrate. If you can get something, if you can get something to be the exact derivative of another thing, then uh, then then you know it's going to be easy to integrate. So if you if you look at this, this thing here is if this thing here is the uh, the derivative of uh, of secant. So if you can get everything in terms of secant. Then you know it's easy to integrate. So, so before you invest your time into the reduction formula, try to thrive for for one of these two. So, so let's 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 just look at this. You can imagine 10 to the power of 5 as um, as um, you, you can imagine 10 to the power of 5 as 10 to the power of 4, and then you've got another block of 10 here. Secant to the power of 4 is secant to the power of 3 times secant. So now this thing here is uh, it. Well, this thing here is the exact derivative of, of, of secant. So if you can somehow turn this into a secant, then, uh, then you know it's going to be easy to integrate. Well, luckily, it's, it's to the power of 4. So if it's to the power of 4, you can imagine as 10 squared x to the power of 2. So now you, um, you, can put, um, you can put this into here and turn this block into all secant. Um, but as it turns out, um, yes, it will still work, but this is slightly easier to do um, because because here you you've got to do this. You've got to do um, secant x minus one squared, and then you've got this thing here, secant to the power of three x, and then you've got to do this times this, this times this. The point here is that this whole block here is all in terms of secant, and then this is the exact derivative of secant. This secant tan tan x here. Um, th th because this thing here is the exact derivative of everything in terms of secant, everything in terms of secant, then, then you know it's easy to integrate. Now, rather than using this, it's actually easier to use this. So, um, so looking at back at this, um, we can break the secant to the power of four as secant squared times secant squared, and then, and then because uh, because this is uh, an even an even power, we can make use of this to turn it. Or to turn this block into 10. So, um, so secant squared. Well, we, we can replace this with um, with 1 plus 10 squared of x. So now, now you can just get this times this, this times this, and then everything will be. This whole thing here will be in terms of 10. So, for example, hang on. So, hang on. So, looking at this block here, replace this block here with this. So now, this times this. Would then give you, hang on, uh, this times this will then give you to the power of seven. This times this here will give you to the power of five, and then you've got this block remaining the same. Now this is the exact derivative of everything in terms of ten. So if you go back here and I'll look at this, hang on, we we always thrive for something to be the exact derivative of another thing. So this thing here, this thing here. Is the exact derivative of everything in terms of 10. Everything in terms of 10. So you know it's going to be easy to integrate. So hang on. So now use substitution. Let u be 10 of x. Then du equals this. Then dx equals this. So now we can put this into the dx. So um, so this thing here will become u to the power of 7, u to the power of 5, secant squared, secant squared. Put this into the dx. That will then give you this, because this is the exact derivative of 10. This will cancel out with um, with this block here. So that will then take you to here. That will then take you to here. So now it's easy to integrate. So your final answer will be this. Okay.